What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Lip Rippers TV. Uh, I'm doing a segment today for your quick tip of the week. And then today I'm gonna be touching base on fishing before a storm. Uh, it can be pretty productive. It can also be pretty scary if you don't know what you're doing and where the storm is at and when the storm is gonna hit. And any fisherman knows how that goes. So today, we're gonna focus on, we got a perfect low tide, it's almost dead low tide, we got about another hour of outgoing. And that's perfect conditions right now for, I mean, I'm seeing top water bites all over the place already. So we got overcast condition, the weather's cool, we got a storm coming in, it's supposed to be here in the next couple hours, tide's going out, it should be exciting, it should be a good video, let's get after it. I'm starting off with some top water. Uh, beans, I'm seeing lots of top water hits. The water temperature is cool enough. And the fish seem to be pretty active. A lot of times before a storm hits, they really want to load up and eat. And that's really what they're doing right now. So, that being said, I'm trying to target these active fish and not spending a lot of time uh, stuck in one spot. Just trying to cruise down a productive area and targeting aggressive fish. Uh, it should, you know, prevail pretty, pretty good bite. I hope, anyway. It usually does. But I'm gonna stay pretty, you know, KVD style, going 100 miles an hour right now until I get bit. Then once you get bit, you can kind of slow down and pick that area apart and see how many of his buddies he's got with him. So that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully we can catch some, some big ones. Fish. We're on that top water. When you got storms coming in and you get lucky enough to have enough time to fish before that front comes in and it's overcast conditions, tides going, and it's basically the perfect conditions. When you got that storm coming in, that's a gift. And, you know, I know you don't want to get caught in it. So you need to be careful and don't get caught in it. It's not worth the fish. But if you got a chance to get out, be aggressive with your, aggressive with your top water at this time of the year. Don't be scared to get after it. Kind of go fast as you can and evaluate where you're at, you know. And check out the situation and see what can prevail for you. You can catch decent fish like this on top of water. So A lot of times in these little areas, you're cruising along this time of year, and you, like I said, you're going kind of fast. You're trying to cover a lot of water because you're trying to focus mainly in on the aggressive fish. So when you finally catch one, if you're able to slow down and start picking that spot apart, a lot of times there'll be more than one fish there and they'll be willing to bite. You just gotta give them what they want. There we go. Here's another one guys. Just slowing down and picking apart these areas can really in increase your hookups and how many you catch in one area instead of just passing right by it. I'm gonna let this one go. Keep on getting after it.
There's one. Oh, that's a decent fish too. There we go. There's another nice one. So, you know, today don't you know that today was all about showing you that going down bank lines with these kind of conditions can and, and just going down them in a fast pace to just cover water and locate those active fish. And when you locate those active fish, slow it down and hit that area with slower baits or faster baits, but just kind of pick apart that area and try and find out how many of his buddies are around. And I found this guy and he was part of, you know, the little group of fish that was over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. I hope you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. So remember, be a bass head and we're going to let this fish go. So get out of here. Peace.